planets, comets, and asteroids are formed. New observations from the powerful ALMA telescope are now helping to answer one of the biggest questions. How do the tiny grains of dust in the surroundings of a young star grow, first to become rubble, and then even boulders well over a meter in size? Computer models suggest that dust grains grow by colliding and sticking together. However, when the bigger grains collide again at high speed, they are often smashed to pieces and sent back to square one. Even if they do not break up, the models show that the larger grains will be slowed down because of friction between the dust and gas, eventually falling onto the star without a chance to grow any further. Somehow, the tiny rocks need a safe haven, where they can continue to grow until they are big enough to survive on their own. Such a dust trap Opposed, but never observed until now. Astronomers used ALMA to study a protoplanetary disk in a system called Ophiuchus Infrared Series 48. This system is circled by a ring of gas with a central hole that was probably created by an unseen planet or a companion star. Early observations using ESO's very large telescope showed that the smaller dust particles also formed the ring. But the new ALMA view revealed that the larger dust particles were doing something quite different. Instead of the expected ring structure, a very clear cashew nut shaped feature was revealed. This is a dust trap, a region where bigger dust... 